Which I'll turn that radio off so you can hear my beautiful voice. So that shop around the corner was outstanding. They expanded the entire store and uh man it was just miles and miles. It seems like miles long. That's the kind of store I like to go to. Thrifty but up class like and decent prices. I found four items. I spent about four dollars a piece on those four items. Oh average anyways. And uh I don't I don't know where to go after that. That's that's like the two big main stops I used to hit all the time. Um I don't know if I should do yard sales or look around or I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens and uh yeah, I, I spent a good amount of time in there. Uh, two Game Boy related items and two PS2 items, so not too terribly bad. Decent prices, like I said. Uh, decent titles, I believe, on PS2. Uh, I'm taking a crapshoot on them because I'm, I'm not a PS2 guy. I need to start looking up prices, but uh, until next stop, I will uh, I will come back. Generic driving music. <laughs> Hey there YouTube, hey Big back and today I thought I'd do a little game hunting. Uh, I haven't been in this area for a while, it's uh, around where I used to live back in down 44 in Union, Missouri. So it's about a, a good hour away from my house now. Uh, the last time one of my buddies was at the thrift store up here, he called me up and there's a whole bunch of Genesis boxed games for like five bucks. I'm gonna go see if they're still there. You know, just to shits and giggles, I guess. And uh, maybe check out the Goodwill. A lot of people said it's been dry out this way. It's been dry out at my place, so. Uh, yeah, I'm just getting off the exit now and I will be with you shortly after the first couple stops. And then we're gonna hit up Union, Missouri and go check out uh, maybe Game Over. And uh, there's a new uh, game store right across the street from them. I hear it's a little pricey, but I want to check it out anyways. So uh, we'll we'll check it out here. Traveling, bam bam, tick bam, bam bam, bam bam, bam tick bam, bam bam, generic travel music, bam bam, tick bam, bam bam, bam bam, bam bam, bam tick bam, bam bam, bam tick bam, bam bam, bam tick bam, bam bam, bam bam, bam bam, bam bam. Damn, I hate starting out videos like that. But due to the no editing rule, uh, whatever. Oh, this is not a start. This is a continuation. Sorry. So, um. This is the continuation from the big uh, adventure I had. Let's see, what is that? Yesterday? This is, I can't even remember what day it is anymore. Um, so, I went all over the place to, uh, you know, different uh, pawn shops and whatnot, uh, thrift stores. This is what I found. Um, it all came from the same spot, which was that one shop. Um, or, no, 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 a shop around the corner. Yeah. So for two dollars flat, I got this nice little uh, Game Boy Advance case. I don't know why. Um, I, I just kept looking over everything, couldn't find anything. But then it's got all these pockets. I love it. I couldn't. I, that just jumped out of nowhere. And it, it's so fun hunting for video games because usually once you start finding one thing, you start to find everything. Same place, different location. I got this one for. 3.49, and I've seen this retail up to about 10 to 20 dollars. So for 3.49, I thought it was pretty neat. I got a uh, Game Boy Color carrying case, and uh, checked all the pockets. And unfortunately, I think they checked them pretty good because I didn't find anything extra. And I'm so the little metal or uh, plastic holder part of it just fell out, and uh, I hope I didn't just wake the wife up. Um, let's see what else I get. I guess I should show this. There's a little uh, metal thing. Metal. Plastic piece that holds the uh, cartridges in the uh, system. Uh, and then I found these two PlayStation games. Now, what was awesome about this, uh, like I said earlier, lots of games. Lots of games that I, I didn't expect to see. I paid $4 a piece for these, so not a bad price. I think both of these games run between eight and about fifteen dollars a piece. Uh, Xenosaga Episode One for PS2, really nice shape. 
somebody either didn't play these games or uh, they just didn't play them because they're really nice and complete, both of them. Uh, and this one, also $4, Beyond Good and Evil. Really sharp looking. I think I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do these games yet. Uh, these I probably won't keep. Uh, still trying to make a few extra bucks before the, uh, the VGS next month. Actually, next month. It's like two weeks away now. Wow. It's insane. Uh, I was just talking about this like two weeks ago, and it's already, like, coming. Um, I guess I'll throw a bunch of other stuff in this video, because, I don't know, let's just round it out and make it really long. I did get two pickups from uh, Pristine Electronics off of, uh, where's that at? St. Charles Rock Road, Bridgeton, Missouri. Um, I can't show you one of them, unfortunately, because the wife is sleeping, and she hates it when I interrupt her for stupid things like, I gotta, I gotta find the case to the game to put in my video for YouTube. But it was, um, uh, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, complete. I bought it for, I think it was $19 after tax. And then I also got this for $4.95, boxed and almost complete for NES, Caesar Palace. Love me some uh, boxed NES. This was only $4.95, and as soon as he showed it to me, I seen it sitting up there at her. It's like, how much is that? He's like, four ninety five. I said, sold. Uh, unfortunately, I did not check the instruction book. It was not complete because the instruction book <gasps> was printed out. So uh, always make sure to check your your boxes for completeness. Not a huge deal. You can probably get this game's instruction book for like two fourths of a cent. Um, and then to finish it off, I went to a. Uh, inside flea market that I'm not really fond of going to. They did expand over 100 booths, which was cool, but I didn't really find a lot again until the very end. It was just like, out of nowhere, things started popping up. He took the price tags off all these, so I think I had to try to remember from memory. Um, not bad prices. I'm pretty sure the four NES games I picked up were uh, market value, and then the Dreamcast game, which I never find I think was a little bit below market value, or I should say a lot. For, I think this was $1.95, Fester's Quest. I'm pretty sure I don't have this game. If I do, eh, I just bought a duplicate, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Um, I debated on these next two because I never thought of myself as a person who would upgrade labels, but apparently I am because after kicking it around, I decided I'm going to buy them to upgrade the labels. Dick Tracy? Very sharp looking label, way better than the one I had. I think the one I had is a little bit faded. Uh, another of uh, the same thing, I paid, I want to say this one was $2.95. And these were both $6.95, which I didn't think was too bad. Another label upgrade, it's really shiny, nice looking. Kid Nicky Radical Ninja. Awesome game, awesome. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to play this uh, tomorrow morning. And then last but not least, for $6.95, this is not a label upgrade. I did not have this game in the collection, and it looks like an awesome game, and I'm just going by the, the cover art because that's what I do. But uh, Bad News Baseball. And the uh, what I really like about this is uh, no, it's just crazy. Just the characters, and then there's a rabbit umpire. I mean, what's up with that? Seriously? Gotta have to try that one. Uh, that's that's a new one for the collection. Like I said, last but not least, uh, these look. It just looks outstanding shape. There's no cracks in the case. It's complete. It has the book and it has the disc, and they look flawless for three dollars alone in the dark. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a Dreamcast, so I'm not gonna be able to play this. I'm debating whether or not I actually want to get rid of this game. Uh, it could just start my Dreamcast collection, but um, I don't know. Guys, thank you very much, as always, for watching. Thanks for the comments. Uh, interaction is always great. And tomorrow, big, big trade. Not really a big trade, but a big trade, if that makes any sense. I am trading one of my fellow retro gamers. Uh, he actually started the group, so uh, cannot wait to uh, meet up with him sometime tomorrow morning. He is trading me two NES games, one that completes uh, a series I've been trying to complete for over a year now, so that's really exciting. And uh, what can I give you? The other one is one of my top five ones right now, 
even though I don't have them posted anywhere. But uh, it's it's probably number one of my wants list for probably the last uh, two and a half years since the last time I actually had it and sold it, which I shouldn't have. But awesome game, cannot wait. I am literally got some family stuff to do uh, tomorrow afternoon. But when I get back, I'm going to sit down and play the crap out of that uh, the other game. So a uh, little bit of a teaser, if you will. If you hung around and watched this entire video, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the lighter side of things of collecting because, you know, it's it's one of those things where I I take it serious, but it's not like I'm hardcore serious. So anyways, thanks for watching. Till next time, which will probably be tomorrow because I can't wait to show these games I'm going to trade. That will be my second trade in this group, so great group of guys. We actually added 40. We're up to 40. We added like 10 new members. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, Pagoomba. Ah. Uh...